Have you ever asked yourself what came of the stars and moon? Ladies and gentlemen, the comb and the necklace. It was a long, long time ago that our ancestors thought that the sky was a mirror, arms stretched away overhead. They also believed that the beautiful moon is formed by the cup and that the blanket of stars over the passing of urban skies were made up of a necklace in a vast, peaceful, flourishing rice field. There lived a small community filled with villagers who knew which other well and obedient yet. Considered little girl named Hitai. He thought she thought of herself as the most beautiful girl in the village. While she was deeply in faith other young girls. Indai was admired by the boys in the village. When I get older, I want to marry Indai. Oh, in your dream. Oh, why she is so beautiful. Happy birthday, Indai! Indai spent a large amount of time taking care of how she looks by the time of her 60th birthday. Indai's parents entrusted their family heirloom to their daughter. A gleaming silver cup and a twinkling necklace made up of diamonds. We take pride in you, dear, as you take pride in yourself. Here, take this common necklace and cherish it with humbleness. Indai was specially known for taking care of her long, silky hair by brushing it with a silver crescent cup. As an ever-obedient daughter, Indai does her course, not without wearing the coiled string of jewels around her neck. One day, upon noticing her daughter's arrogant features, Indai's mother scolded the young girl and told her to lay aside everything while working. Indai, look at you, still all dressed up, as if you're doing anything else but course. Take those off, so you can do your course properly. But mother, no Indai, take them off now. Yes, mother. Not wanting to upset her mother any further, Indai reluctantly hung the comb and jewelry on the sky above her. She goes away the scene with the sight of the ornaments hanging from the sky. Wanting to finish her work, in a hurry she pounded. The grades hard by raising the mortar really high. She didn't notice hitting the sky, which went up higher as she hit it with her pounding. Soon, the fluffy clouds had ascended and the sky went all the way up along with her cherish comb and necklace, becoming what is known today as the gleaming stars and the ever-glistening moon. <laughs>